fascinating. Uh, it is truly a bel canto piece. It has a lot of similarities to famous composers such as Bellini, Donizetti, but it definitely has its own unique sort of feel. <laughs> something between Donizetti and Verdi. As in Verdi gets in middle, late period from Don Carlo on, his musical language gets much more uh, chromatic and uh, polyphonic. And uh, I think that a lot of uh, the harmonic language is anticipating uh, Verdi. So he does sort of nestle in between uh, Donizetti and, and Verdi. <laughs> So we quite intentionally did not want to go down a path of naturalistically representing every single scene and try to create a jail cell, create a throne room. Um, we really wanted to create an environment within which this story unfolds, a more metaphorical, symbolic environment. But it's also very dark and very textured. Um, so that the glorious, beautiful costumes that Brooke has designed just pop right off the stage. And for me, really, too, the music and the characters and the singers pop right off the stage. So it's, uh, it's a very beautiful shell within which this whole story unfolds. It's been so exciting designing this because I get to be so creative, because I don't have to stick to all those historical details, which I love. But this gives us a little more freedom. So we start with the historical base of silhouette and a little bit of the, the textures. There's so much beading, there's so much lace, there's a lot of satin, there's velvet, there's leather. But then we modernize it, give it a little modern twist. Uh, it's an elegant production, quite dramatic and, and stark, I think, which fits the plot and the, the musical flavor and, and the scenic and the lighting and the costumes will all bring home, I think, this sort of image of, uh, she wasn't called Bloody Mary for nothing. Oh, no.